Hello guys, welcome back. Today's lesson is gonna be on circle milling, and this lesson is for the beginners of master cam. So let's get started. First, we have to draw our 2D geometry. For that, we have to go to wireframe, click on rectangle, and then make it four by four. Click, make sure it's on anchor to center over here okay and now click on circle center point make a diameter 3 inches click on center click on ok so now our 2d geometry is ready guys now we are going to do machining go to machine click on mill default and now we need to set up our stock for that expand the property click on stock setup and now we're gonna click on all identities make our height to one inch origin will be zero zero and center click ok go to isometric view and now you can see these red dotted line shows our stock is already set up now click on top view and now click over here expand gallery and over here it says circle mill click over circle mill it says circular pockets based on a single point you can select either point identities or a center points of arc so click over here now guys click on a chain of a circle where we gonna do circle mill this pocket point one is selected click ok now comes to selection of tool we are using flat end mill of half inch so click over here end mill make it equal to half inch 0.5 okay select tool half inch flat end mill on command you can say circle milling and now go to cut parameters make sure these are zero and these are here it's our master cam automatically detect our diameter because we draw as a three diameter three inches diameter while doing circle so from there this value comes now go to roughing click on roughing make sure these all remain default go to finishing click on finishing one finish pass of 0.05 5 thou make sure click over here keep tool down now go to depth cuts enable depth cuts max rep set max depth cut to 50 thou so 0 0.05 keep tool down now we don't need to break through if our pocket is like open from the bottom so we gonna click or break through but for now disable it Go to linking parameters, enable clearance, enable, set it to 2 inches. Now, depth should be going to minus 0.125, sorry, 0.25 quarter inch in negative. Make sure it's negative. Absolute, click OK. Now you're gonna see our tool path is generated for circular mill. So click on isometric view these line shows our tool path to verify it click over here to select all operations click over here verified selected operations and then new window will comes up these are our stocked and this is our tool so how it gonna stimulate so yeah so go to isometric view here let's start you see guys how it's going on this is the circular milling tool goes this is helpful in doing circular pockets especially so you see 
tools are remaining tool is remaining down while doing operation this is going to be one quarter inch down as we set the depth value to quarter inch negative so that's it go to the screen isometric if you found that's it guys if you find this video helpful please do like if you have any queries please do comment and please don't forget to subscribe for more updates regarding this uh, there are more beginners lessons on my youtube channel go check it out thanks for watching guys see you in next video